from me, your Uncle Steve, your mama, all of us. And you still bounced out. You left. You left with the words we gave you not to go. Not to go join a cult. So, I don't care what none of y'all say. Y'all might be telling people that y'all joining in. Y'all joining this cult for a reason. And the good reasons that you joined this organization or went out there. Yeah. Maybe it was pure. Or maybe it was about nature. Or maybe it was about the message. But somewhere along the way, it stopped being about that. And this is what y'all not understanding. See when y'all leader and leads your bishop. See when see when he when he realized he could make money because all y'all talking about y'all ride or die from day one, but y'all riding or dying from y'all day one. See, y'all got to remember, all of y'all wasn't over there with him from the beginning. Y'all just picked up from where you started from. But he been in the game. He been in the game a long time. And when he realized he could have a bunch of y'all behind him and make money. Because see, the saying is, the root, the, the, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil, y'all. We need money to survive. Just like they're begging y'all for these donations. They need the money to survive and pay these lawyers and do whatever they're doing over there. But it's for the love of money is the root of all evil. And once Elysio figured, or once he got that, I got to get this money in his head by any means necessary, I'm going to use whoever I want to use, guess what? The 9,000 or whatever videos he made about all the grandeur of the nature and the esoteric and all of that. Once he ran out of shit to say, the truth started coming out. Because everybody started to realize that he was full of shit. Everybody started to realize that, yeah, you know what? Maybe he did have something to say. You know what? The brother is on to something. Let's, let, let's listen to what he got to say about... Uh, astrology. Let's listen to what he got to say about biology. Let's listen to what he got to say about the black woman is God. Let's listen to what he got to say about him even being God. But because his knowledge is limited, he ran out of shit to say. And because he's not God, he don't know what to say. So, instead of appealing to you folks that really went over there for nature, that really went over there for astrology and to learn all of this stuff when he ran out of shit to stay to say the real shit the real him started to jump out so now knowing that he can't get followers to follow him and plant flowers and gardens and all the shit y'all said y'all was doing but y'all never did he started to appeal to the people that his real self could appeal to and that was the pedophiles. That was the uh, the boys that raped his sisters and the boy that molested his cousins and all these weirdos that do evil shit like that. He started to appeal to them and they started coming over them. They tell me Logan is a pussy in real life. But in real life over there, he can handle the fuck out y'all women because y'all smaller than him. Fam, y'all in a country that he brought y'all to. I didn't bring y'all nowhere. I didn't expose that to nobody. You in a place because he brought you there. But let's talk a little bit about the country you in because I need you to understand this. You in a country where the president thinks that the U United States backed a coup against him. And if you really think that the president is pro-America, you done lost it. In other words, if Bishop is locked up for no reason, and 
and they know he's a cult leader. And that same week, that same week, 12 other cult leaders got locked. Three days later, three, 12 other cult leaders got locked up. Do you really think he gonna have a fucking problem with locking you up or any one of y'all over there and don't give a fuck and don't need a reason? You appealing with a lawyer to the courts and all of this shit you talking about and ain't nothing shake yet? Bam, if it ain't shake and you trying to go to CNN and all of this shit you talking about, what you think gonna happen when, cause the only person can override the Supreme Court is the fucking president. And if you think the president is about to override y'all bullshit, man, you about to get yourself in a world of trouble. Like, stop being silly, man. You, y'all creating new accounts and asking for money and and, and shit. Five thousand dollars for a lawyer ain't no fucking ten thousand. Come on, man. You 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 smarter than this. And if you keep riding behind this dude. You're going to be in, in a world of fucking trouble just like him. Like, wake up. Because I don't, I don't have no problem with coming visit you and bringing you some food and picking up my granddaughter at the same time. Uh-uh. If you're not going to listen, if you're not going to be smart about it. If you're not going to be smart about it, man. Like, I don't have no problem with that. But if you're listening... You need to hear what I'm telling you. Like, get the fuck out while you can. This dude not getting out of jail. And no matter what you do, the more attention you bring to it, the worse it's going to be. Because he in jail for a reason. You know, he in jail for a reason. None of y'all in jail yet. But you give them a reason. And they're going to put your fucking ass in the same place. And that don't make no sense. Because you need to take care of that baby. Like, I'm just talking to you, baby girl. You need to get yourself together. Because how you going to fight in a country that's not even yours? Let me tell you something, fam. In Palenque, everybody was on his payroll. Money talk, bullshit walk. Y'all might have a Nicaraguan lawyer, but guess what? That Nicaraguan lawyer... And took your fucking money and he's still in fucking jail. That's what they do. They're gonna make you think they're trying to help. Oh, yes, come on in. Come on in, um, uh, Mrs. Marquez. I got you. I got you. No, you pay me this money, I get him out. I get him out. No problems. But he's still in jail. They're gonna take all the money you getting from whatever you doing with these cash apps and shit. And he's still going to be in fucking jail. You shouldn't have to do nothing extra. Why you doing something? Why y'all trying to go to CNN and create petitions and all of this shit if you got a lawyer? You got a lawyer. Your lawyer is supposed to be making shit happen, but it's not happening. Because it's not going to happen. You need to take some of that fucking money and go somewhere where you can really fight. If you want to fight. Take the money and go somewhere else, man. You, you, you're on the wrong soil. It's not yours. It's not yours. You wasn't born and raised there. You don't have no family there. You don't have, you don't have nothing there to help you but a bunch of other folks that's not from there. Y'all all in a place filing behind this dumbass nigga. Let me tell you something. When I first realized or when I first heard where y'all was going next... Man, I could do is shake my head. You know, because he want to run to a country where he would fit in with the pedophilia and he would fit in with the child molestation and everything would be, you know, even Stephen for his part. Because that's what he want to do. Y'all follow him over there because for him to fit in is all good. But everybody taking with him, y'all... Y'all, y'all not like that. And if y'all is, then y'all deserve to go. Y'all deserve to go down with him. You know. Yeah, I'm just trying to get you to see whatever you're trying to do. They're using you on both sides. They're using you on both sides. He using the he using you to be dumb, 
Because if you're going to be dumb and go to jail with him, he good to go. Because guess what? When you go to jail, you probably say you the mastermind behind it because you the one out here doing all the fucking talking. You out here advocating and, and acting like, yeah, you know, Nino Brown turned it around on his people, New Jack City. That's, that's, that just wasn't a movie. That shit was based on real events that happen every fucking day. A nigga will turn on you, Velvet. For his freedom, because trust me, if he ever get the chance to get out and, and leave y'all, he gone. He gone. And then you got to realize something else. In his head, he probably thinking, you got him now because of me. So if he thinking that, how the fuck you think he going to treat you when he, if he get out? How you think he going to treat you? Worse. It's going to be really, really bad. Like, come on, Val, wake up, man. Wake up. Wake up, Val. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You know, you talked really good that night. We talked on the phone. You talked with a lot of fucking sense. But right now, you're not talking with no sense, baby girl. You're in a place that don't care for you. And they will use you. They will use every dime you get. They will take every dime you get. And they will still give you the same fucking results. You know? You go into the media. Hey. <laughs> you want it in other places, so just be careful what you wish for. All of y'all need to get out there. All of y'all need to take this opportunity while y'all got the chance. He not there to give orders, but... Because y'all want to keep him here, y'all enslaving each other. Get out. You know? Get out, Bam. He, 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 he don't have nothing else to talk about. Nothing. And if y'all can't see his plan, I just gave it to you. Like, everybody else that's... If you... Let's realize something. Everybody that was originally with him is gone. You not an original member. Trying. I don't know. Logan, whatever his name is. I don't know if he was even there in the beginning. But y'all wasn't with him from day one. Y'all wasn't with him from day one. Y'all just taking a ride with him from now. You ain't been with him for three years unless you was cheating on uh, old Kennard with him on the side. For as I know, y'all was together right before the baby and the duration of the nine months. So not even a fucking year. And you riding or dying for what? To get yourself in trouble? Man, wake up, man. Val, wake up. Wake up, Val. It's, it's, it's not worth it. You could be doing to something totally different, helping other people. He's not worth it. And I'm just telling you it's real. But, y'all know that old saying, hard head make a soft ass. Sometimes you got to go through things because you're just not the type of person to take advice when you hear reasoning, when you hear knowledge, when you hear wisdom. Sometimes you got to just go ahead on and walk up to that stove after you're told not to and uh, burn your fingers. So, I hope you wake up, Val. I hope you wake up, chick. I love you. I just hope I'm praying for you and I hope you wake up. Like, stop being a, stop being a follower. You a leader. Stop being a follower. And you know what? I want to address one other thing because this is what I need you to understand. You're trying to advocate for this man, but you fucking lying off the dump. They got articles out with you being his second in command or his ride or die. And now you saying shit like, my husband. Val, y'all not married. Like, what constitutes a marriage is by law. Sign the papers. He can't do that because he's still legally married to the woman in the U.S. 
He can't do that. He cannot make you an honest woman. Stop telling them people you his fucking wife. Then people go back and check that. You ain't nothing to this man. Just a baby mama. That's it. That's it. You're not married to this man. Stop telling them people that. Because if they go looking at that, you're going to look like a goddamn fool. Like, come on, man. Wake up. I need you to wake up and get out there. I need you to wake up and get somewhere safe where you can handle business. If you still advocate and handle it from somewhere where, where they don't hate Americans at. Handle it from somewhere where they're not just going to smile in your face and take your money and be somebody be patting you on your back looking for that soft spot so they can stick that knife. Advocate from somewhere else, man. Like, y'all take some of that money and get the fuck. If you don't want to get the... If they don't want, then you leave. You leave. You... Man. Be smart about it, fam. Be smart about it. Be smart about it. I love you, baby girl. And I hope you see this. And I hope you fucking wake up. And I hope you understand that you're in a dangerous situation. You're not, you're not, you're not even from there, man. Them people don't care about you. They don't care about you. The people that's supporting you online, maybe it's a good thing so y'all can have the money to leave. Instead of trying to start all this the dumb shit y'all doing, man, like, like, y'all bringing attention on yourselves and your man is in, in jail for being a cult leader. It's plastered all over the place. You acting like a real member. Do you understand that? I am a member of this cult. This is my cult leader, God, whatever the fuck y'all calling him. And you looking like that to these people. Come on, man. Wake up. Wake up, wake up fam. I got something for y'all, so just wake up, fam. I love you, and I'll see y'all later.